At a time when most automakers are racing towards solid-state batteries and fast-charging EVs, Mercedes takes a few steps back by reviving older combustion-based hybrid systems. Despite being an older system, recent patents and interviews reveal a new engine designed to challenge the industry standard for EVs. It's not about compromising. It's about being creative, being innovative, without throwing away the performance, without causing other issues. And that was what we really had to focus on. But why take the risk of returning to an outdated system? And what makes Koenigsegg so confident that it would succeed? They claim they can spin the wheels up to 540 Gongli Meisausha and perform high-speed setups and maximum power runs for all the models they can conceive for the future. Join us as we carefully unpack the answers and unveil the features behind Mercedes' new and advanced engine, the Mercedes Initiative and Tesla's Dilemma as of June 2025, it seems electric cars are everywhere. Almost every major car company now makes EVs, with powerhouses like Tesla leading the market. Others like Rivian, Lucid, BYD and Porsche are still striving hard. Meanwhile, governments in Europe and the US are openly supporting the global shift. Today, there are more charging stations than ever before, and users are getting more comfortable with switching to EVs. With many cities like Mumbai and Stockholm planning to ban all gas vehicles by the next decade, it seems EVs are going to be the future of the auto industry. But this is where things get interesting. Although it seems EVs are the future, the actual numbers show the momentum is slowing down. Today, several problems with EVs have become more obvious than ever, with suggested solutions that haven't worked for over two decades. Compared to filling a gas tank, most EVs take over half an hour to recharge, even with the fastest chargers. And while promises of hyperchargers delivering a full boost in five minutes have been made by Tesla and its competitors for over a decade, all of these expectations have always ended in disappointment. Range anxiety has been an issue since the advent of EVs, so much so that even the premium models aren't immune. Many angry users have complained about their Moon S Plaid and Lucid Airs suddenly losing power twice as fast on highways, depending on the weather. And third, though EVs pride themselves on being the cleaner and more energy-efficient alternative to gasoline cars, the batteries they run on are built with expensive materials like lithium and cobalt that are hard to mine and harmful to the environment. Most of the electricity used to charge EVs doesn't always come from renewable energy sources. This means charging EVs still creates carbon emissions, even though they don't run on combustible fuel, thereby defeating the purpose of getting one for the sake of caring for the environment. This happens at a time when many countries are still relying on coal and gas for electricity, showing that EVs aren't as green as Elon Musk and many tech leaders in the space make them out to be. This gets even more bizarre when recent studies show that an average fuel-efficient hybrid or synthetic fuel engine can actually leave a smaller carbon footprint over its full lifetime than average EVs. But this is where it gets much worse. Many of the materials used to make batteries for EVs come from countries with poor working conditions and questionable systems of government. The problem has grown so severe that some sociologists claim the mining process alone might one day trigger a war. The concerns only get bigger when we think about the electric grid in most places. Take California, for example. In that region, the power grid is already under pressure, especially during heat waves and wildfires, which destroy everything they come across. As more people charge EVs at home, the higher demand on the grid causes blackouts. These blackouts create a sudden need for upgrades that are both impractical and expensive. Some of these projects take five to seven years to finish, making it nearly impossible to implement in rural and developing areas. But not even wealthy cities are immune to these problems. Many EV owners living in the most developed regions of the United States still rely on home charging. Yet this only works properly when there are private parking spaces designed for it. Those who live in rented apartments are easily left behind. All these problems make many users and tech reviewers wonder whether buying an EV is even worth it in 2025. But in the middle of this mess, one German company has been making headlines. This company is Mercedes-Benz, a global auto giant known for blending performance, innovation and luxury into one of the most iconic brands in the industry. This is where hybrid systems using clean fuels come in. During an internal summit, 
Mercedes-Benz executives referenced a recent report estimating that over 1.4 billion vehicles today still run on gasoline and transitioning all of them to battery power would not only be slow but dangerously resource intensive. Even if it's technically possible, it would take decades and demand enormous mining efforts, causing other forms of damage to the planet. But with renewable synthetic fuels and more intelligent combustion engines, existing vehicles could stay in use longer, emissions would fall faster, and the overall transition would be smoother, cheaper, and more sustainable. The first model to feature this new powertrain will be a limited edition hybrid with fewer than 200 units, expected to sell out on launch day. This new engine is not being designed as a one-off or as a short-lived experiment. Instead, it's being built with scalability in mind. It can be adapted to smaller sports cars, compact sedans, and even premium motorcycles. Even off-road and utility vehicles can benefit from cheaper versions of the same core setup, depending on how Mercedes or partner brands configure the final output. The brand's top leadership believes the coming decades will be shaped by a multi-system energy era, similar to how Google's Android and Apple's iOS coexist today. The idea is not for one fuel to dominate everything, but for different technologies to serve different use cases. The company's CEO, Ola Kalenius, believes that by the year 2050, the world will see electric, hydrogen, hybrid and synthetic fuel-based transport systems operating side by side in the mainstream. According to Kalenius, there is no magic formula that solves pollution with a single fix. It's about lowering the need for gasoline with better options. The company's CEO believes the key is excitement. People won't switch because they're forced to, he says, but will only do so when the alternative is better in every way. That's why Mercedes-Benz is doubling down on performance, quality, and emotional driving feel, even while transitioning to green energy system. Kalenia sees this next-generation hybrid as a real-world solution for drivers who don't want to compromise. This engine doesn't produce wasteful emissions. It's easier to install in compact vehicles and it doesn't sacrifice the joy of driving. With all the headlines pointing to this new hybrid concept, many industry watchers are now questioning how Tesla will respond. If the patents are correct, the new Mercedes engine is superior on all counts to anything Tesla can offer today. With so much promise coming from this new engine, many now wonder what the biggest contender in the market is doing about it. But whether Tesla can keep its edge against the emerging competition, and whether it will be one of those that incorporates the new engine into its systems, remains to be seen. However, one thing remains certain. Even though Mercedes CEO claims the future will be far more diverse than other companies hope, the truth is Mercedes still has to compete for the top spot to remain relevant. Mercedes' new engine would have to wipe the floor with all other companies to set the standard Kalinius has in mind. Today, the world is excited to see what Mercedes has to offer. And until the product gets officially unveiled by the fall and released before the summer of next year, we'll just have to wait and see what the CEO has in store for the rest of the world. So, what do you think? Will Mercedes' new engine system wipe the floor with all the giants of the tech industry, or will this turn out to be another overblown invention with nothing helpful to offer? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Also, click on the next video shown on your screen. You'll enjoy it.